Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth of Order from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video. It is on R&B Soul Group Silk. This is their new album called Quiet Storm. Now it's 10 tracks, and it's released through Shanaki Entertainment. And they've been giving you amazing releases from Angie Stone and like Shantae Moore and so many more different artists. But R&B Group Silk, I know everybody's wondering, do they still have it? You know, are we going to get the same Silk, like classic sound? Or are we getting something different? I'm going to let you guys know. And the answer is yes. They do have that class, classic R&B soul feel. And I, for all the fans that loved them when they first came out to up till now, I can definitely let you know you won't be disappointed at all. You're going to be very blown away and happy. Now, track number one is the title track called um, Quiet Storm. And it has that classic soul feel that has like this be a baby making song. That's basically what a lot of the album is going to be. Now, track number two is a song that you guys probably seen the video for. If you haven't already, you can check it out if you finish watching this review. Music video for their song called Love For You To Like Me. It has that up-tempo R&B feel, but I feel at the same time it can be like mid-tempo R&B, but has that up-tempo, but at the same time give you that R&B soul feel. But it's it's cool, and I like it. And I feel like it's a great way for them to come back on. I feel like that was a great single, and hopefully you guys are embracing the song like I am. Now, track number three is called Slow Grind. And that song is a definitely like sexy banger, just like the next track, Baby, Baby uh, Suit. Where I feel like when you hear both songs, they're sexy, they're romantic, but at the same time, that's one of the songs you want to, um, it could be like a, for those of you that have a lover and everything, you can, um, and are married or are dating somebody, you can get it on to those songs, or those can be those uh, striptease type of songs. But privately in the bedroom, I'm not endorsing the stripping, but I'm just saying. Now the next couple, the next couple tracks, like she's the one. That song's talking about a guy finding the one woman that he sees that will fulfill his future, and he could have a life with, and how you know kids and how marriage have all the above. And then that's what the next track, billionaire, is kind of coincided with that song. But it's talking about feeling wealthy with the um, the lady in your life. Or maybe the man in your life, depending on who, however you guys take the song. And you feel like you already a billionaire just with that love. And then the next track is called On My Mind. And that song is just basically talking about the love was who you constantly have on your mind. Even if it could be like your child, it could be your loved one, you know, like like spouse. You have them constantly on your mind and you feel like you can't really do that much because they're really deep in your mind because you really love them to death. And I feel like that's the song I feel like everybody can it hit a struck a chord with everybody. And then the next track, Baby Maker, is just a simple song talking about setting the mood right and getting uh, get it in it. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> on that track, I'm going to let y'all know that's one of the big ones. So you be like, yeah, y'all know. Now the next track is called I Love You. And that's just basically everybody saying I love you, but it's really meaning it, saying you love that person that makes you happy through the good times and the bad times. And they won't leave your side at all. And you're basically saying, baby, I love you. Or mom or dad, I love you. It's basically that type of song. I feel like it could go however. And I feel like that could be a great crossover record for R&B, soul, pop, hip-hop, all the above. Everybody would like that song. And then the last track is called Only Takes One. And we've all gone through that. And that song's basically saying that we have all may have had bad, you know, bad times in love, bad luck in love. And basically we're just... Sometimes it feels like it's, it's taking forever for somebody to love us, and it only takes that one person. I say, say one man, one woman, treasure the person's treasure. And if you uh, don't love somebody, love that person, somebody else will, will get get them and love them unconditionally. And that's basically what it's saying. Hold out and know that you are loved, no matter what circumstance it may be in your life. And overall, for for the album, I say I'm really blown away by Silk doing this album, Quiet Storm. Shout out to all the members of Silk. You guys did a fantastic job on it. And hopefully you guys go out and support Quiet Storm. is out right now in stores and digital outlets. And I have the iTunes link for all my people that want to hear the album. You know, um, hear the snippets and everything and make you want to buy it. And if you guys want to keep up with Silk, they are on Twitter and Instagram at SilkFans, which is S-I-L-K-F-A-N-S. And that's Twitter and Instagram, just in case you guys are wondering. And if you guys want to keep up with me, and hopefully you guys do, I am on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. The show that you're watching on YouTube, the KTooks Spot, it does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. And for all my people that like great music, 
especially all my people that want that classic R&B soul feel, you want that back, please thumb this video by liking it. Make sure you share the video and make sure you comment after you've heard the full album from Still Called Quiet Storm. Let me know what you guys really think. Do you feel like they really brought it? Do you feel like they really are setting the, um, the standard for R&B to come back? Even though I know it's going to take more artists like Silk and others to really bring it and show that R&B is still alive and is not dead at all. You know, be honest with me. I want to know what you guys really think. And definitely make sure you please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's so simple. You push the subscribe button down here. And you push the bell icon to get notifications for every time I drop videos. And you can even see some of my previous videos when I first started YouTube to up till now. Just in case that this may be your first time watching me. And hopefully it won't be your last time. And that's all I have to say. So this is your boy Kenneth. Sign off from the K2 spot. And you guys see me again in a bit with another new video. So bye-bye.